agree with you totally on that. I think at home, you don't ever want to put your fans in a position where they're questioning what you're doing. And right now, they have to be in the stand saying, why would we even do that? We're already behind you. You don't need us anymore. And this one, boy, an unsuccessful attempt. That could really change the momentum of this game in a hurry. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Back to throw here, Herbert. On the screen, this is Eckler. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to move the sticks with a gain of four on third and inches. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. Flushed out right. He's going to fire one. Corner of the end zone. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. Not the desired outcome, but probably won't be the last time we see him take a shot downfield. To throw again on second down. Herbert flushed to his right. He finds his target, Allen. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 15-yard line. They go back to the ground now with Eckler. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. The last run got 6, now 2nd and 4. Justin Herbert looking to pass, eluding the pressure right. Got a man, it's Allen for the Charger touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown there. And the Chargers are on the board first here this afternoon. Point after, right down the middle. And it's now a 7-0 game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 23. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Being chased out left. This one complete down the field to Goddard. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Hurts steps away. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Throwing his hurts. Dancing to his left. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. He'll drop to throw. Buying time to his left. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Hurt sets up to throw it. Forced out to his left. And out of bounds right around the 20. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Throwing again on second down, Hurts. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. 
They'll try and run for it with Sanders. They push forward, but I don't think it's enough. He's going to be about a yard short. He needed three. He got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. Here's Hurts to throw. They're trying for Sanders, but this is intercepted. Picked off by Khalil. And the Chargers are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. The Charger drive about to get going. They take over here following the interception. That's the good news. The tough spot is the spot that they're in. That's inside the five in the shadow of their own goal post here. First and ten. And he'll take this forward only up to about the seven. Credit the tackle to Darius Slay. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Here's Herbert. Over the middle, it's complete. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. Steps away to his left. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Well, sometimes the defense just beats you. Great coverage from the secondary. All of them in the proper position. So instead of trying to throw into tight coverage, he found a way to throw it away and come back and try again the next down. Herbert's throw there complete to Allen. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Two first downs have him up to the 41 now for first and 10. From the shotgun, here's Herbert escaping the pressure right. He'll get this to Eckler. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he was able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. And so it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Herbert. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. What's the old adage? Be quick but don't hurry. Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. That ball had to be gotten rid of. Otherwise, he was going to get sacked. On fourth down, Herbert. Right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Kaiser White. The 20. Five. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. So they go on fourth down. Not only do they not get it, it turns into six points the other way. Disastrous. And many people think you should just go ahead and knock it down in that situation. Turn it over for the offense. But I had a defensive coordinator recently tell me, we see that as a passive play. We don't do that anymore. We want the ball in our hands, and we want to head the other way. It's probably also instinct a lot of times. If you see a lot of green grass ahead of you, go ahead and grab it. It's the exact right play to do. That's knowing when to break the rules and when to make a play that maybe you hadn't been taught. This fielded right at the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Charger drive about to get going. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. But when this ball's tipped and intercepted, Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. 
The Eagles in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. Little screen pass, back door to him, and that time worked well for a solid game. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. Ten yards there and an eagle first down. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, he was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. Being chased out left. Touchdown, Eagles! Dallas got it. 30 yards. And the Eagles will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. That could be an important swing right there. A touchdown in the final minute of the half to take the lead. And I like the point you just made there. Could be an important swing because now that they have the lead, if they can carry that into the locker room at the half, they'll feel really good about what they accomplished in the first two quarters. And he is going to be stopped short of the goal line. Oh, they'll mark him inside the one. He just couldn't keep churning those extra few inches. And the two-point attempt is turned aside. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get in the field goal range. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Herbert on first down now. And that's off the mark, incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. On Herbert, his third interception. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. But unfortunately, 